Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and deciding to spend some time with me. If you are new here, I just want to let you know that I upload two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked in the video description below. But with that out of the way, we are back in Minecraft and I am working on building my first underwater base. And I feel like the DPI on my mouse is turned up a little too high. It seems very sensitive. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so last time we finished up with working on this underground addition from my underwater base. So I dug down and discovered this underwater cave, and I was trying to build it so I could kind of have an aquarium um, where, that's not what I want, an aquarium with glowing squibs, but for some reason my aquarium seems to have killed the squibs, unfortunately. Okay, I think I'm just going to glass in this part so I can't fall off and kill myself. Well, I guess it's creative so I could fly, but anyway, I'm going to glass off this entire part so it's kind of sealed off from the rest of the cave. And then we'll work on expanding this aquarium floor and try to put some squids back in it. I'd mentioned in my previous video, I really haven't spent much time in creative mode. I, back when I used to play Minecraft, I would always do survival. Um, so I kind of want to give creative a bit of a try. Especially since I'm not very good at um, survival. I just haven't played in so long and so much has changed. That... It's hard for me to keep up. Okay, I might just make all this glass. Let's see, how do I want to do this? out a bit. It's so hard to see. It's so dark in here. Uh, let me just put some squids in here and see what happens. Okay, I do want this to be like a floor. So it's a full-on aquarium. So I want to have it right above the water level. up as I go, so I'm gonna probably have to redo a bunch of this because it's not very planned out. Probably have to move that lamp, but I need the light right now. Okay. And if you're wondering why my Minecraft looks like this, I am using Silter's Vibrant shaders. I'm using the extreme version with volumetric lighting. And then I have some other mods installed just to make it perform better, since my computer is kind of old. But it seems to handle this pretty well. I'm running a 980 Ti graphics card in this computer. I can't remember what the processor is. And then I only have 12 gigabytes of RAM in it, but it still 
seems to run most things at 1080p pretty well. Okay, I guess before I get all the glass, I should see how these squids are going to do. Also have a mod that adds, or it might be part of the the shaders mod, but it kind of adds depth of field. So whatever you're not looking at has like a slight blur to it. It's out of focus, like how our eyes really work. And I, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it adds a little uh, extra layer of realism to Minecraft. After I do this wall, maybe I'll go work on another part. So this entire video isn't just me placing glass blocks. I can imagine that gets boring to watch. Like how much 
much talking I should do in these videos. Because I really like whispering as a trigger, personally. But I've found that some videos that are whispering but have kind of long pauses in between the talking, the, uh, the pauses almost enhance the trigger. Like it kind of adds a layer of anticipation to it. So, I don't know if the dead air is bad or if uh, that adds to the ASMR. Okay, let's see, I'll add a little lantern there. Let's see, can I, I was wondering this, if I can use a fence. like a lamp post. I feel like I've seen this on like the NPC buildings. Oh, you can. Nice. Okay, I think that looks way nicer. And we'll just like add. Let's just build that up. Oh no. Okay, I need to fix up this tunnel anyway. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Is it a tunnel? If it's vertical, would that be like a chute? Our tunnel's only horizontal. Also, is there a name for a tunnel expert? There must be. Like a tunneling expert, I wonder what they're called. Let's go. Oh, 
whatever, we'll just stick with the warped one. I am not good with redstone at all. Okay. A warden spawn. What is a warden? There's so much I don't know about this game anymore. I kind of want to go work on the entrance up here. If I can get out. Okay, so I have like this little dock area. I think I want to go with dark wood. This might be too much, but let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll see. I might come back and change that. This is definitely too much. I... Yeah, I don't think I like that. I kind of do, but I'll leave it for now. thinking from this side I might build like a tunnel that connects to I was thinking of building like an underwater garden building but I don't know if I have time to get into that yet well we have the kind of boat dock area built maybe finish this video off. Um, yeah, I want to build like another tunnel down there as well. I'll go add. I'm going to see what other creatures there are. And see if I can add some more creatures to my little aquarium. And some lighting. I need to add some Oh crap, they all died. Damn it. I'll put my little access hatch over here by the light. Well, I guess you can't keep nature chained up. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. gives a cool glow to it. Uh, that gives me an idea. Okay. I need one just for light. But what if I put the glowstones underground and then 
That's kind of cool. I'm just going to embed some lights in the floor down here. That's a little happy accident. I'm sure someone else has already figured that out, but I think it looks kind of cool. Spawning it in a dolphin. Oh no. 
Is the dolphin gonna eat the fish? Dolphin definitely eat fish. that for the thumbnail. Doesn't quite do it justice, but it's kind of interesting to look at. But anyway, I think I'll wrap the video up here. I hope that you found it relaxing and entertaining. Sorry for placing and destroying so much glass. I'm sure that's not the best, but if you made it to this point, it couldn't have been too bad. And also, if you made it to this point, I really, really appreciate you spending your time with me. And I hope you'll come back for the next one. <laughs>